Just saying hi to everyone. Hey, some of my awesome Lethbridge Special Olympics curlers are on here joining us for a workout. This will be a little different than the workouts we do at curling. Um, but some of our stretches are the same. Lots of the mobility is the same. Got some people from Edmonton on here as well, which is wonderful. We love Edmonton. Lonnie is ready to exercise. Awesome. I hope you're all ready to exercise. So many comments. Awesome. So happy to see everybody on here. So yeah, so it's about two minutes to seven. So we'll get started um, probably in about three to four minutes. So like I said, get ready. I do like dogs. I actually have four dogs. Um, we have three labs and a pug. And it's actually one of our dog's birthdays today. So he's turning 11. So after we're done the workout, we're going to have a birthday party for him. Got a bunch of cupcakes and fun stuff. Hi, everybody from Calgary, too, from all over the province. That's awesome. I do know Sharon. I actually used to work with Sharon. Uh, I think it's Leonka. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Or Crystal. Sharon and I worked together for a long time, so I know her really well. All right. Looks like we got lots of people on here. People ready to get on there. We have about 25 people watching, which is awesome. You bet, Marie. I'm excited for it. My husband and I did some of the workouts earlier this year through Special Olympics um, Alberta, I believe, or maybe it was Special Olympics Calgary online through Facebook. Um, so we did a couple of those in the spring, so we haven't done any for a while, but just me today. I will say happy birthday, James. Thank you. I'll say hi to the kids, too. James is one of my Lethbridge curlers, so we haven't had a chance to see each other. Well, since March, probably, right, James? Um, because curling was canceled this year, so that sucks for us. But I will say happy birthday, too. Team Canada. I wish I was on Team Canada for something. Yeah. Okay. So 7 o'clock. So, again, we'll just... Um, Let's just give a, two more minutes for anybody else that wants to join. Like I said, make sure you've got some water, um, a towel for your wipe, and also you could probably use it for one of the exercises we're going to do. Towel will definitely come in handy. All right, Evan's ready to go. Okay. Fit five, yeah, we got it. We got the whole plan, so. All right, Heather, I'm ready too. Uh, yeah, I am part of LATR, so I'm part of LATR Southwest Division. So that's Lethbridge, um, pretty much everybody south of Calgary. Okay, so um, I won't be able to answer a bunch of questions, but I'll keep checking in as we go through to make sure I'm not missing anything and if anybody has um, needs help with any of the exercises. Uh, I've got a bunch of variations for some of them, so if they seem, um, if it seems tough, we can always do a variation or do the very best that you can to try and do that. Um, but yeah, we'll get started. Hi, Erica. Okay, I'm ready. So I'm just going to grab my sheet and then we'll get started. I do. I actually used to work with Matt Burton as well. So I worked with Sharon and with Matt. So I'm just going to push us back a little bit. Sorry. Somebody can see everything. So hopefully you can all hear me. Um, we're going to get started. I want to make sure that you can see all of me in the area. And just turn this nice and loud. And hopefully everything is good. Okay. So I'm going to have to follow along on my sheet. Uh, I am just going to prop the camera up a bit too. Sorry, you get all set up and then all of a sudden it's just, well, that's too high. 
It's just not quite as good. Okay. So I've got my sheet because we've got lots of exercises to get through. We want to make sure we get through them all. So welcome everybody to your strength training session. So we're going to focus on the same things for over the eight weeks. I don't know if any of you have done the workouts before. Um, but it's total body strength development, so we're going to get strong all over our whole bodies. Um, it's meant to um, take the place of some of the stuff that we're missing out on because we're missing out on sport across the province. Um, so it's, we're going to work today on our core, so that's your stomach muscles, your glutes, so your butt muscles, um, back, arms, legs, and generally most things that you would normally use in sports. Um, we're going to integrate our five fit, exor fit five exercises, so we will go through as those happen. Um, and then we will do some proper warm-up and some stretches. So we're going to do some warm-up first. So we need to do that to make sure that our body's at the right temperature and we've got the right flow of our muscles, making sure that we don't hurt ourselves. If you start a workout right away and don't warm up, you can hurt yourself pretty bad. Um, so we're going to start that so we have more elastic and just powerful movements. So we're feeling really loose when we're doing everything. Um, it just works out better that way. So. So we're going to start with a few things. So everybody, make sure you've got your own space spread out if you're with another family member um, or somebody else in the room. I know it's tough with COVID. We don't really have lots of people around to do a group workout, but make sure you got your own space um, and we will get started. So first thing we're going to do, so grab a space on the ground. Um, something that would work good would be a carpet or something. I've got some mats here in my gym and then I've got my own mats on top of that. So we'll get started. I'm just going to tilt it down a bit for these ones. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do three sets of cat-cow. So I'll do them forwards and I'll do them to the side so you can see them. So you want to do cat-cow so it's going to look like a cat where you arch your back all the way up, and then you're gonna come through after to do a cow where you push through and push all the way out. So I'll do that from the other side so you can see. So when you're doing a cat, it's like a cat, bring your back up, and then the cow is bringing it all the way, pushing out through your chest. Okay, so we're gonna do three of those. All right, ready? All right, here we go. So we've got cat, so really push your back, and then cow, out, and then we'll do another cat, and then another cow, really push through that, and then we'll do another cat, really arch your back, and the cow, stretch that all out. Okay, so then our next exercise, we're going to do a pendulum swing. So we'll lay down. I don't remember exactly what this one is. So I think we'll just do something like this where we lay down, and then we're going to put our legs up, and then we'll just go from side to side. Three times, one, all the way, two, all the way, three. Perfect. Okay. And then our next is our side laying. Uh, we're going to do a side twist. So we're going to lay out flat like this. Bring your knees up. And then you're just going to twist to one side. So we'll do each side. One. Two, three, four, and then five, and six. Really stretch out that back. Keep your hands nice and flat. Okay. So going to take a look and make sure we're good for comments. Bring a little closer because a lot of these exercises are on the ground. So, okay. 
So, next thing we're going to do is some um, double leg bridges. So, I'm going to turn my mats go this way so you can see those better. So, you're going to want to lay down on your mat or your carpet. Put your legs out to the side. Or you can put your, sorry, your legs, these are your arms. <laughs> put your arms out to the side. Or you can put your arms down like this, whichever is more comfortable for you. So you're going to lay down and do that. And then we're going to do six of these. So six bridges. So what you're going to do is plant your feet nice and firm on the ground. And then you're going to bring both of your legs up like this. And then we're going to do that six times. So here we go. One. Two. Really push through your hips when you're coming up. Keep your hands nice and flat. Three. You can get your feet even closer and really make that bridge strong. Four. You can also put your arms out if that feels better. Five. And six. Okay, so you should feel that nice stretch. Okay, then we're going to do some leg raises. So we're going to lay on our backs, and we're going to go three leg raises for each leg. So let's lay out. So we'll start with our right leg up. So put as high as you can raise it. One, two, three. Perfect. Then we'll switch to our left leg. And if you did the wrong leg, just switch to the other leg. So left one, two, and three. Great job. You should feel that all in here, nice and stretched out. Perfect. Okay, so we worked out our glutes. You should feel that in your legs and your butt and your glute muscles. Your biggest muscle you have is your glutes, your butt. Um, seems kind of silly, but it's like the best natural muscle that you have built in. So you want to make sure we work that one really hard. Just going to do a quick check. Okay, awesome. Looks like everybody's just saying hi and making sure. So we'll get back to our workout. So we stretch that out. So we're going to stretch our back and our arms now. So I'll just have to prop this up a bit for this one. So, sorry, this one's back on the ground again. Some of these are tough. So you want to just lay down. Sorry, lay on your back. Then you're going to lift up your legs and your hands to touch together. So you should really feel that all in your core. Um, your back, your arms, everything like that. So touch your toes to your hand if you can. So we're going to do, uh, let's do three of those per side. But we can do both, actually we'll do both legs together. So bring your feet up. So one, perfect. Two, touch your toes. Three. Ooh, nice. So then we're going to do some arm press backs. So for these, we will just kind of, um, it's kind of like a fly. So you're going to start and just press your arms back. One really works out your back and your arms. You feel it right in here. Um, so we'll do two. Really roll your shoulders and see if you can... Um, so we lost sound. I hope everybody can hear. Um, so just really roll your shoulders. Try and touch your shoulder blades together. Like think about it as if you're touching them together. So three, four, five. Whew, that's tight. Six. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to do... Um, 
Sorry, I just need to check something. Okay, so we're gonna do our bird dog exercises now. So these ones, we're going to do three on each side. So what you wanna do, um, I'll do them from the side so you can see. So you wanna be on all fours. And then what you're gonna do is stretch out your hand, but at the same time, you're gonna stretch out your opposite leg to the back. So we'll do, so we'll start with our left hand, our right hand out and our left leg back. So we'll do one, two, three. And we'll switch sides, so left hand up, Right leg back, one, two, three. So you should really feel that stretching out your whole body. Perfect. So um, this next one is where we're gonna leg squeeze. So if you have a towel or something that you can squeeze, um, you're gonna put something between your legs. If you don't, that's okay too. So what you wanna do is just lay down on your back and if you have a towel, this is a little towel that can roll it up, put it between your legs. You can use a big towel too. Um, so these are between your knees. You're just gonna squeeze. Squeeze with all the muscles that you've got in your body. One. You should feel it really tight in here as you're squeezing hard. Two. Three. Awesome. Hope everybody's starting to feel really loose. And then our last um, of this section, so our, our, sorry, our fifth five, we've done two already, so our double leg bridge, so that was the one we did. Um, the next one was the bird dog that we did, so double leg bridge we did. Was this one again? Where you bring that up. Bird dog was the opposite legs and arms out. And now we're going to just pull our knee into our chest for a really good stretch on each side. So we'll start on our back. And then we're gonna grab, let's start with our right leg. So bring your right knee up to your chest, and then squeeze tight. One, switch to your left. One, switch to your right. Two, perfect, switch to your left. Two, really squeeze tight. You really wanna feel that in your, in your quad here. One more on each side. Three, and four. Oh, it's tight, my legs are sore, so that's a tough one for me. Okay, so next thing that we are going to do, let's check our comments here. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, um, we're just going to do some mobility, get our joints going. This helps with our coordination, which is really, really important when it comes to sport being coordinated. I know for my curlers, there's so much you've got to be able to throw the rock, keep your balance up, watch your coach or your skip at the end, um, and look at the rock and see how fast it's going. So you don't need to tell your sweepers to sweep. Um, this isn't anything. You're playing basketball, playing bocce ball, bowling, swimming, anything. You need to be able to be coordinated. It's part of the whole process. Okay, so we're just going to do some lateral toe touches. Just pop you guys up again here. All right, so we're going to start all the way up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do alternating. So you're going to take your right hand and put it down to your left foot. Okay, so we'll go through six on each side. So keep your body tight though. Keep your other arm up. Don't let it just fall when you come down. So keep one arm up. Bring the other one down and cross. So one, you should really feel that. Woo! Two. We're gonna do six per side, so it'll be twelve all together. Three. Really stretch down. Four, keep those arms straight. Five. Six. Halfway, we're halfway. Seven, really stretch it out. Eight. Nine, you should really feel that in your arm, in your leg, everything. 
10, 11, one more, one more, 12. Whew, awesome. Okay, um, now we're going to do one that everybody probably has to do um, pretty often. Our curlers do this one, it's one of our favorites. Really get this warmed up, especially when we're out on the ice and it's middle of December and we're already cold, then we gotta go out onto the ice. So we're gonna do some arm circles. Everybody's favorite. So we're gonna do six each way. Um, so we'll start going forward. So put your arms to your side. We're gonna do big circles. So you're gonna come all the way around. So we'll do six big circles forwards and then six big circles backwards. So one, this is really good for your shoulders. Two, try and make your circles as big as you possibly can. Three, four, five, six. Whew. Okay, now we're gonna switch and go backwards. Count backwards. Six, five, oof, that hurts in the shoulders. Three, four, I can't count today. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Get those last big circles in. Big, 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 big. Perfect. Good job, everybody. Okay, so now some straight leg raises. We just want to really stretch those legs out. So we will start with our right leg this time. So let's do straight up leg raises. So one, two, keep that body nice and straight together. Three, four, five, feel that all through your leg, six, perfect. Okay, we'll do the other side, left leg, or your opposite leg, whatever you did do last time. One, two, three, these can be tough on your balance, four, always try to look at something that isn't moving, that helps me stay balanced. Five, so not me. <laughs> Six, awesome, good job everybody. So now this one we're gonna do is just gonna kind of stretch our body out. So we are going to just, just gonna lay nice and flat all the way down, put our arms out, and then we're just gonna kind of roll our whole body up. So slowly bring your whole body upwards. Let you feel it in your abs, in your body, everywhere, bring it all the way up. Okay, awesome. Um, that straight leg raise that we did before this one, that was another one of our five exercises, so that you know about that. Um, so now we're going to do some different kinds of flexibility. So this will be um, stuff that we use that makes it able to get in and out of position comfortably when working. Um, with it. Like, so if you're doing something, you have to switch to a different position. So in sports, you've got to go another way or you've got to do another movement. You want to be able to do that quickly and feel comfortable when you're doing it. So that's important. Um, this helps our body's keeping good shape um, and lots of reflexes too. So this is a little faster. So it's like a little bit of cardio in here kind of thing. Oh, that's too high. Okay, so each one of these we're gonna do for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna set my timer, uh, a series set timer for 30 seconds. All right, ready? We're gonna be running on the spot. So ready, here we go. Just run on the spot. Get that heart rate up. Keep going, push all the way through. Keep running in spot, it'll keep you nice and warm, get your body warmed up for our exercises. Keep going, four more seconds. Okay, awesome. All right, good job. Okay, next we're gonna do high knees for 30 seconds. Hey Siri, set timer for 30 seconds. Help okay. take the watch. Here we go, ready? One, two. Keep those knees high. Try to get them as high as you can. Keep going. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. Now we're going to do some butt kicks for 30 seconds. Here we go. One. Butt kicks. looking at the comments. Awesome. Great job to you guys. I'm tired too. Woo. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, um, so we worked on our flexibility. Next we're going to do a couple drills. Um, and these ones will help you prepare for something that's coming. So if you had to, um, basketball for example. So if you're playing basketball and you're, you know, dribbling the ball and all of a sudden you've got to pivot, you've got to send the ball to somebody else, you want to be able to move like this and react really fast because somebody else is going to come for that ball and you want to be able to pass it off to somebody or you need to stop so that you know that you can take a chance and look around, see what's happening, but you're really aware of what's going on. Um, and then you want to also use this for a desired position. So um, I'll use curling again, for example. If you don't have the right position when you're sliding out of the hack, for example, you're going to fall over. So you want to make sure that your body is nice and tight and that you can maintain your balance. So we're gonna do lunges. Not everybody's favorite, but they are really, really important for your body and for your leg strength. Okay. So I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit, move us back, and then we'll get going, because most of these ones will be on the mat. Um, so Laura will have a water break after we're done this one. So I promise soon we'll get through this section. Um, I tricked you guys a little bit, I read ahead. So water break will come after this. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is we're going to do some lunges. We're going to do lunges with a nice twist. So there's a few different ways that you can do lunges too. Um, so basically the way our lunges are going to look is they're going to twist like this. But if you need to hold a ball or something to kind of keep you going, um, not heavy, this ball of mine is a little heavy for that, but you can hold the ball and then twist. That'd be one option. Um, something else that you could do, you can either do Hands behind your head when you're doing the lunge. Hands out straight, hands out this way. Lunges are a lot of balance. So um, the ball, for example, is there because it gives you some balance, something to hold on to. And to be honest, something really to focus on while you're doing the lunges kind of takes your mind off of it. But if doing this, doing this, um, doing this helps you to stay balanced or to make you feel like your lunges are the best they can be, go for it. So we are going to do six lunges with a twist on each side. So when you're doing your lunges, um, a lunge, you should be doing like this. You can lunge down. If you can keep your leg off the ground, that's awesome. If you need to put it down, that's totally fine. So we're going to do six twists um, 
first side. So we'll just start in the middle here, get your lunge down. We'll start up with our left leg up, that's what I got up, but if you got right, that's okay, just remember to switch. So we'll start, I'm gonna do hands behind my head, just for something to change. So I'm gonna turn to the right and to the left, that's one. Two. Three, and you wanna get that whole turn, so that's why we start on the other side. Four. Five. Six. Awesome job. Okay. I'll do these ones from the front so you can kind of see. Um, actually, I'll do from the side. And just show that if you want to, you can keep your knee up a bit if you want. So we'll do one, two. Like I said, arms out is good too. Three. It's really the twist that's important. Four, five, six. Okay, good job. Okay, so this is a big one. This exercise, you're gonna need a lot of energy for. So really think about um, like a burst of energy as you do this, and then um, try and get as high as you can and as low as you can. So this is a squat to stand, um, and then you're gonna reach to the sky. So it's gonna kind of look like this, you're gonna do a squat. So however you do squats, kind of like the lunges, if you're better with squats with your arms out, out, up, um, it's really up to you. I like to kind of put them out front. So you're gonna do squat to stand, to reach to the sky. So it's like a three part movement, so we're gonna do 10 of those. Just gonna check comments, make sure everybody's still doing okay. Uh, okay, everyone just saying hi. Okay, so let's do these, these, we'll do 10 of these bad boys. Okay, so you're gonna start with your squat, to stand, to reach to the sky. Everybody ready? Here we go. The so one. Woo! Two. Three. Four. Five. Get as high up as you can. You're gonna reach to the sky. Okay, I'll get as low as you can. Six. Seven. Really use that burst of energy to shoot your body down and then all the way up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! Good job. You feel that in your leg and your butt. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Next thing I'm going to do is a bear crawl. So some of you might be familiar with this. It's really getting down. Um, and just kind of moving along with your body. So we kind of start flat, and then we're gonna bring our body all the way up into kind of like a, I guess it should be like a bear, but slowly bringing it up. Start here, and then slowly bring your arms in. Bring your body up, like that, perfect. We're gonna do three of those, so that's one. Bring your body in. Two. Hey, last exercise, then a water break, I promise. Hey, bring your body up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. We did it. We made it to our water break. Okay, so let's take a couple minutes here just to do a water break. Um, I'm gonna check in, fix my hair that fell down. Good work, everyone. Uh, Brittany, no, we're not done. We're only halfway, um, but, well, maybe a little bit more than halfway. But if you're, if it's too much, you can feel free to stop. You can always redo the rest tomorrow um, or take a break if it's too much. Just make sure you guys are having some water. So I'm gonna grab some water. I 
I've got a really big water bottle. Everybody always makes fun of me for it. Awesome, everybody's enjoying it so far, it looks like. I've got a good sweat on. I don't know about you guys. But I'm feeling pretty sweaty. Lots of moving, which is good. Okay, you're done, Brittany? Okay, sounds good. Um, if you wanna go, if you had enough, that's fine too. If you wanna finish the video another time, it'll be online, so you can always do the second half. Just pick up from where we did the water break. Um, or you can do the whole video again. It is big, hey? It's two liters of water. So that's a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I got lots of them, so. <laughs> okay, awesome. Is everybody good? Everybody got a water break? Feeling good? Feeling ready to get the second half of our workout? Let's do some more water. Thanks, Evan. Um, just a reminder, if we're doing the workout and you're feeling really, and you need a drink of water, you don't have to wait for me. You can stop and grab a water drink and just try and pick back up where we are at. Or if you need to, just wait until we do the next exercise and then you can join right back into the video. So don't feel like you have to wait for me if you're really thirsty. I know it can be tough to keep going when you can only think about having a drink, so. Okay, so we're gonna get started again. Just gotta take a look at my notes, see where we're at. Okay, let's do this. So, We are going to do some core. Start off with some core. So that's our core is right here, your stomach, um, kind of into your back, just all those tummy muscles that we use all the time. People don't realize how much they use their core muscles. So if you have a strong core, um, it helps with everything. It helps with your back. Um, I know when I lift heavy weights and if I don't have my core tight, which is something I'm trying to work on, it makes it really hard to lift heavy stuff. Your core helps you in so many ways you don't even realize. So we're gonna start with some planks. So there's a few different ways that you can do planks. Um, so I'll kind of just go through the options with you. So uh, use a big water bottle, awesome. Yeah, try your best, everybody try your best. The best is the best you can do. And as long as you're out there moving around, doing something, you're doing great. So we're gonna do some planks. So there's a few different versions of planks you can do. I'm gonna do some static planks, so that just means regular old planks. Um, we're going to do the exercise. Um, we're gonna do two planks. So the first plank I'm gonna do, I'll do facing this way, and then what I'll do facing this way, so you can kind of see. But you've got some regular, so I'll show you the, the shapes of them. So regular old plank, you're just gonna lay down, um, you kind of want to make like a 90 degree angle with your arms here, nice and firm. And then all you're going to do, and we're going to do this for 20 seconds, is you're just going to put your body up and keep your body up, but keep your butt down. You don't want to have your butt way up in the air like this. So that's a regular plank. Um, another plank you can do is an arms forward plank. So if you're more comfortable with your arms out like this, I can't really do planks like that, um, but you can try. Another one would be to do a side plank. Side planks are good too, so you want to just pick a side. So for me, I'm on my right side right now, and then I would just pop my body up like this. So it's really up to you. Actually, I'm going to do some side planks. So um, we're going to do two planks, each for 20 seconds. Um, one other thing you can do is you can't do a full plank, you can do it on your knees. So um, just bend your knees, and then hold your plank like this. Still a really awesome exercise if you're not able to do the whole one. Or another thing you can do is go right up to a wall and just lean against the wall to do a wall plank. Okay, so we're gonna do two of those. You guys ready? Got your planks figured out? Okay, so get my timer going. Hey Siri, set timer for 20 seconds. Hey Siri, set timer for 20 seconds. Here we go. Okay, 20 seconds and counting. Hold on to that plank, stay nice and tight. It should hurt and be really hard. That means you're doing a good job. If you're doing the side plank, you don't have to go up too high. You want to keep nice and straight. Okay, we did it. So I'm going to switch to my other side and do another one. Here we go. Twenty seconds. 
you guys got this, hold tight, hold tight. Hold tight, everybody, keep going. Keep going. Okay, Woo, we're done, those. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is some kind of crunch. Um, so we have a few different crunches we can do. So one crunch is just a regular old crunch, where you just sit on your back, put your lead legs up like this, and then you're just going to bring your body up. So that's a crunch, like this. There's some other ones you can do, like a bicycle crunch, where you're gonna cross over. Those are, are a little tougher, but you know if you wanna challenge yourself, they're really good, so you would be up like this. And for some people, you can keep your legs like this, or cross them, whatever works better for you. So if you're doing a bicycle one, you're gonna bring up and you're gonna go, oh sorry, that's wrong. Bicycle is when you're alternating your legs and your arms. So if you bring your left arm up, bring it over, you're gonna bring your right arm like this. So you got those. So those are some options you have for that. Um, you can also just do straight legs, or you can just do shin touches too. So you can have your legs all the way up and just touch your shins. That's a good one too. The important thing, is that your tummy is feeling like it's doing something there. It should feel like your muscles in here, you should feel them moving. So I'm probably going to try the bicycle ones this time. So we're going to do 20 of our crunches. All right, so figure out what kind of crunch you're going to do, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, crossing your legs, six, cross over, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep going, guys. Fifteen, five more. Sixteen, woo! Seventeen, feel that in your stomach. Eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Ooh, you feel that? I can feel it. I can feel my abs moving. Okay, great job. How did everybody do with those? Let's take a look. Squeeze your muscles, exactly. We got some sound, awesome. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna work on our glutes, so our butt. A little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do some double leg bridges. This is a good one. Um, this is a really good exercise. Um, so we're going to do a couple sets of these. So glute bridge, you're gonna lay down, bring your butt up, for that one. Um, you can also just do single leg lifts. So if you want to just like one up, two, that's really good, two, three. So we'll do some of those. Um, also got double leg bridges, which is good for your butt too. So you can do single. So we'll like put, keep one leg down and one leg out, and then we'll bring that up. Or you can bring both up like that. Okay, so we're gonna do two sets of these, 20 each. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And when you bring your butt up, squeeze your butt muscles. Squeeze them nice and tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, good job, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, three more guys, 18, 19, one more, 20, Whew. okay, uh, now we're going to do some squats, everybody's favorite. So a few different ways you can do squats too. Um, so I'll show you. So 
So a few different ways you can do a squat. You can do what's called a sumo squat. So everybody knows what a sumo wrestler looks like. Um, big wrestlers that stand, they got a really big presence, big, big stance. Some of you might even be in wrestling. Um, so your legs are wide out, kind of pointed out, your feet are pointed out, and you're going to bring down like this. Um, another option for that is a squat to jump. So if you've got a little extra energy right now, get it all out. You could squat, jump. Um, another option would be squat pulses. So where you're just going to keep going down, up down continuous like that um, or there's always a squat to reach which is kind of like what we did before but you're going to do squat to reach which is awesome um, if you can't do those you can always squat to a chair so that would be something where you've got a chair behind you so like a bench or a chair and you would squat just to that and then come back up again so if you can't go all the way down that's a really good option to do as well i don't have a chair in here um, a little bench here. So I have a little bench right here. So what I would do is just squat to the bench and come back up. Squat to the bench, come back up. So if you're not getting all the way down, sometimes you can get all the way down, but it's hard to get back up. So you're going to want to do that. Do whatever works for you, but make sure it's not too easy and that you're still feeling the some burn when you're doing it. So let's get some squats done. So I'm just going to do 20 regular sumo squats. Um, here we go. One. Two, try to get nice and low. Three, and you can do what you want with your arms. Mine just kind of naturally seems to go up like this. Some people like to do like four out like this. Five, you can do them like this. Six, that's kind of hard for me. It doesn't need to keep my balance. Seven, arms up is good too. Keeps your whole body in line. Eight, nine, behind your head over two. Ten. Like I said, for me, the easiest is just the straight ahead. 11. Keep going, guys. We're halfway. 12. Try and press that butt to the ground. 13. 14. 15. Five more. 16. 17. 18. Keep those feet nice and flat and planted. 19, 20. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay. All right. So we are into our um, last few sets of exercise. Not last few exercises, but we're into our last few. We've got to work on our legs, our back, and our arms. So just going to check our comments again. Preston's going to do this tomorrow. Thanks, Lori. Um, good job everybody for joining in and sticking to it. We've been going now for quite a bit, so I'm sure you're all tired. We're about 45 minutes into our workout, so we've got about 15 more minutes left, including our stretching. So, awesome. Um, okay. So, we're going to do some calf raises. So, that's when you're going to stand and you're going to go up on your tippy toes like this. You're really trying to get into your calf raises here. So, it's a quick rise and then slow to come back down. So quick rise, slow back down. If it's too much for you to do both legs at one time, you can always just do one leg at a time. So keep one leg flat and just do one, two. I'm gonna do both together. Three, four. So remember, quick up, slow down. Five, can't be hard to keep your balance. Six. You should really feel it in here in your calves. Seven. Eight. Nine. Whoop, ten. Eleven. Twelve. I can feel it all the way up to my butt. <laughs> Thirteen. When you get to the top, really squeeze. You really feel it in your muscles. 14, slow down. Remember, quick up. 15, slow down. 16, 17, three more guys. 18, two more. 19, one more. Give it all you got. 20. Good job. Okay, some more lunges. 
Everybody's favorite. So there's a few different options we can do here. So you can do a side lunge. So we're going to be alternating sides. Um, so for me, that would look like, so one, two, like that. That's one option you have. Um, some other things you can do is a curtsy lunge. So that's when you're kind of crossing over. So like one, two, I think those take a little bit more balance. So they're a little tougher if you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Um, there's also a pulsing lunge. So I just need you to kind of get into the lunge position, and you're just going to like kind of bounce almost. So figure out which one of those lunges works best for you. Tiptoes, yeah. Everybody hurts. Ah! Did some walking. Oh, yeah, if you walked already today, these are going to be tough for sure. So I'm just going to do alternating. Um, I'm going to start with my right leg. But again, do whichever works best for you. And uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, feel the burn. <laughs> Seven. Eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna do twenty, but I'm gonna switch my app now. Do some curtsy lunges. Eleven. Ooh, those are hard for me. Twelve. Thirteen. Remember, just go as far as you can go. It doesn't matter how far you go. If you only go a little bit, it's really just getting that movement down. 14, 15, 16, whoo, 17, three more guys, three more, give your best lunges, 18, 19, 20, whoo, those are good, feel those in my legs, okay. So we're going to roll into moving on to our back now, finish our legs. So we're going to do some supermans. Um, probably a lot of you are familiar with superman. Maybe not superman himself, but the exercise. So the whole purpose of this is to kind of look like superman does when he's flying. Um, so you want to get your legs up and your arms up. If you can't do both of those things, because it can be really tough to get your arms up and your legs. That's four limbs all at the same time. Just get your arms up. So um, Superman would be arms and legs up like this. But if you can't do all four, like I said, just at least get your arms up. Okay? So we are going to do those now. Ready? Okay. One. Two. Three, four, woo, five, we're gonna do 18, six, remember if you can't do that, just do your arms, seven, eight, nine, I'm just gonna switch to my side for anyone that can't see those. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, three more guys, 16, 17, 18, great job. Woo. Okay, so we're going to do some bird dogs again now. Um, so this is when your knee meets your elbow and your elbow the opposite. So, so we're going to just bring that in. One, two, three, four. You're really twisting your body. 
five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do 20. Nine, whoop, 10, 11, 12. Really turn that body. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Good job, guys. Okay. Now we're going to do some push ups. So, um, there's a bunch you can do. You can do regular push ups, you can do knee push ups, you can do push ups against the wall. Um, this is definitely a high five exercise. Um, you could do, yeah, whatever works for you. So, to start, we're going to do 20 of these. So, if you're doing a push up, put your hands nice and placed. You need to do them on your knees or all the way out, whatever works for you. So one, two, I hurt my wrist a while ago, so I can't do them all with you, but I'll count them out for you. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do ten more. So readjust, get comfortable, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, three more, 18, 19, 20. Okay, great job, everybody. Okay, so the last one we're gonna do for our arms is we're going to squat to bear crawl, and then we're gonna walk our arms back into that. So we're really gonna squat, and we're gonna go down and bear crawl out. And then we're gonna go into a plank. Okay, like that. Okay, so we're gonna do three of those. So you wanna squat, hands down, crawl out to bear crawl. Bring your legs out too. Bring that down to a plank, all the way down. One. First one was just an example. Two, two plank, three. This way. So squat to bear crawl all the way out and then down to plank. Ooh. Okay, so. We are done. Our exercise is here. We're going to do our eight week challenge for our two exercises for the eight week challenge. So, anybody's competing in these, we are going to get those going. So, first one is going to be plank for one minute, then we'll take a one minute break in between. Then, we'll do however many squats you can do in one minute. So, is everybody ready? Take a look. We are done at eight. Yeah, well, just about eight. We are just, just about done, and we'll do some stretching. Um, stretching is so important. <laughs> okay, so here we go for our one week challenge, or sorry, eight week challenge. So first thing we'll do is plank. When you're doing the challenge, make sure you're getting ready. I'll get my timer going. See if we can do it, ready? Hey Siri. Hey Siri, set timer for one minute. All right, everybody, here we go. One minute and counting. Plank time. Keep going. Keep pushing for your plank. Keep going, guys. You got this. We're almost there. Keep pushing. Keep holding on to that plank. Give it all you got. Okay. We're done. Okay, great job, everybody. How'd you do? Let's take a look. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna do as many squats as we can do in one minute now. Ready? Right. Hey Siri, set timer for one minute. Get your squat positions ready. Okay. Here we go. One. Two. So make sure you're counting. Three. I'm gonna count on my own just so I don't mess you up. Keep track of your own squats. Keep going, guys. You got this. Keep going, guys. I know it's tough, but keep pushing through. Keep pushing. Oh, we made it. I stopped track. Stop keeping track. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Okay, we made it. We have finished our workout. We're gonna do some stretching now. First and foremost, we are going to um, 120 plank. Nice work, guys. Final push. Good job, everybody. Yeah, plank time. Perfect. Okay, so we're done the actual workout part. We are going to do some stretching, but let's get some water in first. Because again, water is really important. Okay, so grab your water bottle, get a drink, get a nice comfortable place to do some stretching. Um, we're going to start on the ground for the most of them, um, then we'll do some stand-up ones afterwards. So, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, bring your one leg inside. So there's different things you can do from this. You can either try to grab your foot, you can grab with both hands. You can just try and get down low while you're doing it. You can go this way and get low, but whatever works best for you. We're gonna hold this one nice and long for 30 seconds. Feel it in the back of your leg. Okay, awesome. Now let's switch legs. We'll do 30 seconds on the other leg. So like I said, you should feel it in the back of this leg. You might feel it in this leg too, up top in your quad. Here we go. Try and keep this leg down. Okay, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do we're gonna bring our quad do some quad stretches. So if you wanna lay on your side, or you can lay on your stomach, but I like my side. So I'm gonna grab this leg and I'm gonna pull it back. So I'm stretching out the quad. It's your quad right here, the top of your leg. Alright, so hold that for 30 seconds. Big water bottle in there. Perfect. And roll onto your other side. Thirty seconds on this side. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do some hip flexor stretches. This is kind of like a low down lunge. So start with one leg up. Start with my left. So you're going to start like this. So you're like this. And then what you're going to do is just lean forward. 
So as you lean forward, you should feel it in your hip flexor, which is all this part along the side of your body. So I'll put my leg, left leg up first. We'll lean forward. You should feel it all in your leg, in your other leg. Perfect, so we'll switch legs. Perfect, nice deep stretch. Okay, next one we're gonna do is a glute stretch for our butt. So we'll lay down, put one leg up and then bend your knee. Then you're gonna roll over the opposite side. Sorry, put your arms up flat. Then you're gonna roll over. Try to keep your arms nice and flat. You should really feel it in your butt, glute. Perfect. Now do the same on the other side. Knee up, bend over. Torso rotations. Kids in a chair and do this too or to sit on the ground. We're just gonna do some twists. These are good for your body. Really get that out there. Really loosen all of that up in there. You can always hold it to a side. Hold it to another side. Good job. Okay, another one we can do is we'll be standing more so, so I'm just going to flip us up a little bit. So this one will be kind of bend right over, arms up. Over to the left. Perfect, bring it back to the top, now to the other side. And back up. Okay. Then we're going to take our hand, grab our other elbow, push down on that one. We'll give us a good tricep stretch. So all in the back there, you can see your triceps. Loosen up. Switch sides. Okay, then we're gonna get down and do some child's pose. So we'll get all the way down, legs out, and just try and get as low as you can, bring everything down to the ground. Good job. Okay, and our last stretch. So now sit together. Put your feet together like a butterfly almost. Try and bring them in as close as you can and just stretch out in there. Push down if you can. Okay. So that's our last stretch. We are done. Great job, everybody. That is awesome. So yeah, we're a few minutes after. Um, hopefully everybody got their stretches in. Somebody's got the same water bottle as me. That's awesome. Okay, well, I think that's it. Um, thanks everybody for joining me for the workout. It was really nice to see everybody. I hope you got sweaty. Hope you did some fun stuff. Um, it was fun. And I hope that you maybe learned some new stuff to incorporate into your workouts. And hopefully you'll join the workout next week too. And you can rewatch this workout and do it as many times as you want. So that was wonderful. Thanks everybody.
Have a great night.